I noticed something very, very bad. Look at this. The tire. You got a new auger wagon operator. Yep. Jonah. Well, we didn't just get rained out. We got hailed out. Oh, and now we're getting wind. The corn is just blowing all over the place. This is bad. This is bad, bad. Loading out the truck. It's Saturday morning. My dad's gonna take it in. In order to have enough room in our grain bin system at the end of a year, we're gonna go ahead and haul off a little bit of corn. Okay, go put that on the truck. Hey, we got a bit of an issue. Yeah, what's up? Well, what do we have here? I was just about to go unload. Until then, on my way back, I noticed something very, very bad. Look at this. The tire. Means that we probably got a leak somewhere. Just kind of going around. The TPMS sensor inside of a tractor didn't go off. It usually beeps. It usually beeps and checks all the tires whenever you crank up a tractor, but it didn't do that. So I didn't bother looking at it. Then it caused this. Unloading it full into the big one. That'll probably hold it there. Um, pull up just a little. Stop. The tire's off the bead. It somehow, I'll explain it later, but it, it has a problem. So this is what I mean by the leak. That right there was unscrewed a little bit. That's a tire sensor. So it made it leak just a little bit. And over time, it made this tire, I think it was on this tractor, it became flat. No, it's not ruined. We should have had it tight, and it had two lines on the sensor. I thought that just meant that it wasn't reading, which it wasn't, but that was because it was unscrewed a little bit. So that's a problem. We'll have to check it and make sure we're tight. We see that again. If you see rubbed off black stuff, then the tire's running. I can't tell. You got a new auger wagon operator. Yep. Jonah. This is my brother's youngest son. Ten. Actually, I uh, unloaded. Uh huh? Ten unloading already. You're ten? Ten already unloading. Oh, I thought you were like 17. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not quite. Might want to uh, angle it in just a little bit. And I would slow your, I would slow your engine speed down some. So, what do you got to tell your fans about this? Mm -hmm. Nothing to say. No secret to your skills. You got a girlfriend? Because I know when all the girls see this, they're gonna want to date you. Girls like guys with good auger wagon skills. No girlfriend. So, you hear that, ladies? He is available, and man, he can top off the truck with the best of them. Doing good. They're waiting in line to get done. We didn't just get rained out. We got hailed out. Can you hear the little pecks on the window? It's bad. Oh, and now we're getting wind. The corn is just blowing all over the place. This is bad. This is bad, bad. We're gonna have corn that is down on the ground that was already laying over. 
Well, the rain's starting to slow down. I can see some flat corn right now. It's not good over there. I don't know how bad it is. We probably won't know until we get out there in a day or two to try try to shell it again. But we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait just a minute or two longer. I mean, we got lots of rain. You can look out in the ground right now. There's a bunch of water just sitting on top of the corn stalks. I mean, this has been about a 15 minute rain and I wouldn't be surprised if we got a half inch to an inch. I mean, it is absolutely insane how quick it came down. Well, there's the aftermath. We'll see how bad the corn is down here in a day or two. Lots of water. Alrighty, I think it's been a week since I've talked. We're on our biggest cornfield of this year right now, and it's been taking us a little while. We had down corn, we had rain delay. I was doing trucks for at least half a week last week, so I've been pretty busy. So I'm gonna take the fuel trailer home. I'm gonna get the header trailer and we'll move before the end of the night. Got the fuel trailer unhooked. Now I'm gonna hook back up to the header trailer. We have had problems people stealing our hitches or maybe it just got lost so we stick it in the toolbox so nobody can steal it My dad got here. I'm waiting for him. He's actually, no, he's not going to dump the truck, but I'm still going to take him. In fact, I do not know where he is at. I think he's going to bring that to the granary in the morning, so he's not going to dump it, but I don't know where he's at. I missed the combine, but there's the tractor. I made it home safely. Well, we're over here on our, well, I guess you could say last field. We have a little bit of corn up at the house we want to top off our grain bins with. Wow, almost as if my dad is in a hurry or something. Time to load them up. Dumping. This won't fill it. It's probably got 850 to 900 bushel on it. So, Kenzie will put what, what he's got left on it and that should fill it. Watching the camera. And I shall pull up soon. I think I'll just let Kenzie top it off. That's Kenzie. I think we're about to quit. So I reckon I'll see y'all tomorrow. There's a whole bunch of bunnies out here. Ooh, he's getting closer. What's he gonna do? What's he go oh. We're staying busy. And right now we're getting corn knocked out. After this field, like I said, we have a few acres at the house to top off our grain bins with. And then we'll be done with corn harvest. And the beans are just almost ready. We might have to wait a day or two, but then we'll get to soybean harvest. The boss wanted to fit it all. He fit it. There might have been some spilled, both by him and me and Josiah. But he fit it. Any words of wisdom on this last pass of Corn Harvest 2023? I'm glad to be done. I'm tired. Glad to be done. I think just about everybody is. I like chilling for but I'm glad to be done. It's to the point that if a wind or a rain came, it's not going to be standing up probably, and I don't want to pick it up. Yeah.
That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Next video will be wheat sowing. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.